I'm so sorry. This is part two of the video. Um, someone called me. So, um, that's why this video has a part two. But anyways, um, now we're on to the detail of the cabs. So I have a screwdriver here for me. Um, the de the main detail on um, the firebox looks good. That's where they usually put the, um, the coffee if they have anything, if they're running it. Um, there's, um, the brake. One thing about this model is that, um, well, right now we're on the, uh, the real model trail. One thing about it is in Britain, they drive the train on the left, so that was kind of a disappointment. Um, well, not really a disappointment. This is a great train. No doubt about that. Detail is good. It, it, it's fine for the, for what it is. It, it doesn't have to be a perfect, absolute perfect model. It's just to have fun. Run it around. I'm even more zoomed in now. Um, and this one is for a little more detail. This one actually has seats. It has the right driving side. Firebox looks good. Pretty similar. Um, this one looks good. Um, um, let's, um, let's zoom way out. Um, the same window. It's pretty much the same. Oops. Ah! Camera. Um, sorry about that. Um, this, this is more gold, so that's a little bit more detail. The, um, this is, a uh, moved a little bit. This one is not. Um, sides pretty much look the same. So, yeah. Um, let me, um, find another place to show you what the difference is. One, one second. I know I already did the front, but if you just look at the front, look at the difference. There's a huge difference. Let me pause the camera and get some water, and then I will show you the main differences. One of the main differences that I saw right away is look at the different time on it, or whatever that is, clock, whatever you want to call it. That one would be at like 3.30, this one would be at like 5.30. See the difference? It's unbelievable. This one has three lines. This one has two. This one has a silver th what thing, whatever that is, hatch or whatever. And look at the difference. Why doesn't this look good now? There we go. Look at the difference in the color. See the difference? Just unbelievable, the difference. So, um, oop. Front truck isn't on right. No, oh, now it is. Okay. But anyways, um, on the rating for this one, I would give this probably a 9 out of 10 detail. For this one, I give it an 8. And now for the final thing, well, let's see, let's see what else. Um, largeness, I think um, this one is a little larger. Um, and I think for the overall, overall rating, um, well, this one's probably better because it can run. But for the overall rating, I give this one a 6 and I give this one an 8 because this one can run. It, I, I have track. Let, let me go to this track. But this one just sits there collecting dust. You can look at it, but I mean, like, it's definitely not as cool. Let me bring the, some of the, uh, one second. Um, here's what I kind of laid out right now. I'm still laying this up. But here's kind of the layout for upstairs here. Um, but then I got this whole bucket of all this stuff for all tracks, so. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me fucking see my face. There I am. Hi, everybody. So, um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, um, it's both great models, but I would recommend the Hornby Flying Scotsman one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yes, I need a haircut.